please welcome to the stage Di Henwood! I got on, stumbled onto Hello Sunday Morning on the on the web. It was something that struck a chord with me because I was about to go on a nationwide tour and we had been to sort of a few after parties and just witnessed so much full noise drinking. And I did three months. I did my three months, and I enjoy a drink, so I um, went back to um, drinking, but in a completely different mindset. My hopes going into Hello Sunday Morning was that it would reset my drinking pattern and it did. Stopping drinking for three months is not going to have a negative effect. Doing the HSM I definitely learnt how much I was drinking because it's something you can sort of sweep under the rug where you go, oh, I had a couple of beers, I went out and had a couple of beers and then you count them and went, I actually had, I actually had, uh, you know, like then you go, I actually probably had a dozen beers when I think I had sort of five. I learned that without heavy binge drinking I could achieve a lot more, that I'm getting up in the mornings, there are little hobbies that I'm fully into like drawing and um, piano, that that sort of couple of hours in the morning I'd normally have free or be sleeping in with a bit of a hangover, I sort of thought I'd chuck an hour into learning how to draw a tree. <laughs> um, or. I, 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 for some reason, learn a Billy Joel song, <laughs> but it was stuff that I think there are a lot more opportunities in your life that you miss due to hangovers, due to the extra few hours at the pub, that just reining back and having days off the booze, especially inspired by having three months off the booze, that you can achieve so much more. That was what I suppose the main thing I learned from Hello Sunday Morning was how much you can achieve without booze. The industry I work in is definitely an industry where you are constantly at someone's party. If you're doing a gig, they have come out for a party. It's either their Christmas party, it's their work function where they're up for drinks, you're at a comedy club where people have come out. So there's that vibe that I need to have a couple of beers and get on their vibe. or you're going to um, openings, launches where there's trays of drinks so you just want to grab and have a drink and you're doing it. So it was quite hard stopping the initial reaction to just grab that champagne or grab that beer off the tray and I found once I'd done one non-alcoholic drink it was fine to keep going and also the, hard, the hardest part was saying to people no I'm not drinking because Kiwis are like, come on mate, just have one. But I found if I was saying, I'm taking three months off, they go, oh sweet, he's just taking three months off, you'll have a, you'll have a beer. And um, a lot of people were a bit skeptical at first. Um, one, whether I could do it, and two, why I was doing it. And then I think people definitely saw that I was really enjoying it. Feedback while I was doing the HSM kept me going because as I was sort of being public, was keeping me accountable and also having feedback from people of going, hey, I read your blog and um, what you're doing is really good and you've inspired me to do that. That sort of gave me the kick of, this is awesome. If you want to stop drinking for a while, go to the website, read three blogs from three different people and you'll be hooked. Take the time off.